Okay, Tim. Um, today we're, we're going to go through a, a scenario you've done before. Um, but we're not going to look so much at the clinical factors. We're going to think more about human factors. Okay. okay. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Um, so it's things like um, team working, communication, decision making, and, and situation awareness. Those things that we'll be looking at. Okay. Okay. So the, um, the scenario is um, John Smith, an 18 year old lad um, with a history of asthma, has been at a football match um, and decided to get shot of death. Death is inhaled at home and he's been brought into a &E by the ambulance man. Okay. And you're called down as the uh, A&E registrar to see this patient. Okay. And with him is Joe, um, the A&E nurse. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. John, the patient will be able to fill you in with any more details you need. Sure. Okay. Okay, thanks. And he's got quite a problem with his breathing, and he's, he's just sort of come come round a little bit, but he's really struggling to breathe. Really struggling to breathe. But uh, he's certainly struggling. Okay, I'll I'll have a quick chat, and okay. then what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to work through his um, his ABC. So we'll go through his airway first, his breathing, circulation. But I'll just have a quick chat to him first. John. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name's Tim. I'm one of the doctors. Hi. Hi. How are you? I can't breathe. You can't breathe. Okay. No. Oh dear. Um. What, what I'm going to... Pardon? I'm shouting. Shouting. You what? believe you've been at the football, is that right? Yes. All right. And you have asthma normally? Yes. Um, and your breathing's got worse? Yes. Is that right? Do you feel very wheezy? Very wheezy. Oh dear, does it, does it feel like an asthma attack? Yes. Okay. Um, do you, and you take some inhalers normally, is that right? Yes. Left them at home, okay. Don't don't try to talk too much. I'll just ask you some questions. Just say yes or no or nod your head, okay? Okay. So is it a blue one and a brown one? Yes. Yeah, okay. Do you have a nebulizer at home? Yes. Yes, okay. Have you been in a hospital before with your asthma? Yes. Has it ever been very bad? Oh, intensive care. Okay, yes. right. Okay. Well, what we're going to do, John? First of all, what we'll do is we'll we'll get you set up. So, Joe, can you give us a hand to set, yes. sit him up? We're, we're going to get you sat up a bit. That might help with the breathing, and we'll pop some oxygen on. Okay. Okay. So, how do we sit you up on this trolley? There we go. <coughs> right. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Um, Joe, could you get me some oxygen, please? Can yeah. we have um, just an ordinary breather mask and just put it on at 15 litres? We'll get some oxygen on, that might well help, okay? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> right. What level would you like it on? Um, do you put it on 15 litres for me, please? So, yeah, so just turn it all the way around, right to the top, that's it. And we'll get it. That's great. Okay. I'm just going to pop some oxygen on you. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so I wonder, could you come to this respiratory rate for me, Joe, yeah. and I'll have a listen to his chest, okay? Um, could you just go around the other side, and I'll uh, just because I can listen from this side. Just gonna, have, just gonna have a quick listen to your chest, okay? okay. Said, so I think we work we work quite well as a team to to assess him quickly. So Joe was doing some things and, and I was doing other things, and we were telling each other what we were doing. Okay, so let's look at the video of that. Okay, okay. here we go. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Um, Joe, could you get me some oxygen, please? Can we have um, just a normal breather mask and just put it on at 15 liters? We'll get some oxygen on. That might well help. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Um, you put it on 15 litres for a day, so you have to just turn it all the way around, right to the top, that's it. Um, okay. That's great. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I wonder, could you come to this respiratory aid for me, Joe, and I'll have a listen to his chest. Okay. That was good. So, what was good about that? Um, well, I think that, um, so I knew that he needed some oxygen, but I had other things that I needed to do. So I knew that I needed to go through and do his, um, the rest of his B and C assessment. So I asked Joe to get the oxygen, and I gave her some instructions about um, about 15 litres of oxygen, but I'm not sure if she heard me because she asked me again, and then I was able to say, yes, yeah, it's 15 litres. Um, and then just to reinforce that point, I said, you know, just turn it up to the top, because I knew that's up to the 15 litres. Um, and then I was trying to count his respiratory rate, but I, I lost track because I had to talk to Joe. So then when she came back and she was free, I thought that'd be good for her to do the respiratory rate, and then I could concentrate and listen to his chest. So how did that feel for you, Joe, as, as, as a nurse? Um, yeah, I felt he was asking me what I needed to do, and I was reasonably confident, but it, it is actually my first day on this floor, so I was just sort of taking his lead, really. But yeah, he communicated with what we need to do, and I was quite happy with the answer to what I needed to do. And then to check that you, you knew what you were doing and you, you'd done it right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I asked to just double check how much oxygen you not know, you know, you're quite happy to make me feel comfortable with that. I did that. Yeah. Okay. So, a good example of um, task allocation and, and, and uh, delegation. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's happy enough. Okay, thanks. So, anything that perhaps you'd like to do better next time? Um, well, there was a, a there was a bit of confusion actually at the end, at the end um, when um, I thought that Joe was doing a cannula, but but she wasn't. Um, okay, let's look at the video about in the uh, resource. Um, I'd like the chest actually, please, on um, 19 year old man called John Smith, who's dead by the So, yeah, so I'd ask her to do the cannula, first, and then I'd go and speak on the phone because I was two. worried that um, he needed a chest x ray around there, so I'd ask her to go and get the cannula. And that's right, so you're, you're on the phone with the Yeah, that's right. Joe's getting the stuff that he needs. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you for Okay, fine. Have you got that cannula sorted then? Uh, yes, please, yeah, because I need to be in and speak to radiology. You've not done it before. All oh, right, okay. Um, uh, all right, okay. Um, well, uh, can you do a blood gas? No. No, okay. Um, so we need to do both of those things, so um, maybe. Do you think, could you go and see if one of the other doctors are around and they can give us a hand and I'll do the cannula? Um, okay, all right, thanks very much. Okay. So, so, Joe, how did that feel for you? Well, I, I felt a bit silly, really, because um, I know he expects me to know what to do, and although I did it once in training, I've not actually done it properly in that situation. I was a bit nervous, I wasn't sure what to do. I actually, when we had chats about to start with, I actually thought we needed to look handy later. Yeah, it was a bit because um, I didn't I didn't check that Joe knew that she was supposed to do a cannula. I didn't check with her because I was worried because I knew he needed a chest X-ray, and that always takes a bit of a, a little time for them to come and do the chest X-ray. So you know, I needed I wanted that sorted straight away. So I was, guess I was maybe in too much of a rush. So I just ran to the phone, and when I came back and she hadn't done it, and I couldn't under, couldn't understand why. But then when she said that she hadn't done one before, I thought. Oh, I've got all these things that I need to do. So I asked her if she was able to do the blood gas, which she said that she wasn't. And then I thought, well, maybe actually she'd be better going to get somebody else that could come and help me to do all of these things that I need to do. So what would you do next time in the same situation? Um, well, I guess I would um, maybe uh, voice out loud in my head, say, OK, he needs to have a chest extra, he needs to have a cannula. Um, so I'd say, Joe, are you able to do a cannula? Um, mm -hmm. And if she said no, then I'd say, well, okay, can you go and speak to X-ray? Um, and maybe do things either way around, because then uh, I might have had the cannula ready by the time she'd come back from, from X-ray. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Okay.